Greetings, fellow Wastelanders, and welcome to another Fallout 4 video. This is a continuation of my series. I think this is number eight. Uh, we're going to be talking about Kate. That's K-A-T-E, not K-A-I-T. Kate is a mod that gives you another companion. It's evening here. It's cooling off, so it's it's kind of a nice evening. I've got the house to myself for a while, so I figured I'd get this video laid out and get it done and get it pushed. So let's get to it and not waste any more time. Okay, so as I said, the name of the mod is Kate. You can get it at Nexus Mods. This is a companion, fully voiced. She has an affinity. As far as I can tell, she has no actual quests, even though she has affinity checks. And we'll just have to play through and see how things go. I'll probably have more comments at the end, but like I say, you can install this companion with Vortex from Nexus Mods. You find her in the cellar in Sanctuary. Uh, we actually covered that in an earlier one in this series, so you, you might have to go back in a couple of videos to see where we picked her up at. But let's uh, get to it. I'm going to focus, I'm going to be not really doing a lot of the uh, gunplay or exploring, and more focused on uh, Kate and getting her affinity up and her dialogue. So let's get to it. All right, let's get hey. going here. Let's Let pick guess. up Kate as a companion. You'd like to travel with me some more? Yes, I need your help. Thank God. I was... So... Look alive. We'll change oh, your sure. clothes here. What can I take? Or do you need something from me? Yeah, she's got a machete, so... We'll use or Fortella's uh, armor and a towel latex suit. Hey. Okay. And we need to give her a gun instead of a machete. We'll use this tactical 44. I got to get some more ammo. I'll hit the store later. Okay, we're ready to head out. We're skipping a lot of stuff here because we're focusing mainly on this uh, mod for a companion. Again, this is Kate, K-A-T-E, not C-A-I-T. Hey. Hi. What is it? Can I ask you something? Um... Sure, I guess. What did you dream of doing before the chems? Well, that's a loaded question for someone you've just met. What did I want to do? You need to refer back to the wasteland. backstory a few episodes ago. You didn't imagine yourself doing something? Not even once? Um, I did have one thing. What kind of music do you like? Some of these, like, positive um, response stuff is just pauses. I'm not sure what it is. So, you wanted to be a musician? No. With my voice, I don't think so. So, what is it? I'm getting there. Relax. The Commonwealth is still pretty new to me. I've only been here for a few months. Home is southeast along the coastline. The capital wasteland. Absolute hellhole. The Enclave and the Brotherhood of Sheep. They're both evil as far as I'm concerned. And those goddamn so super some... mutants don't even get me started on them. So now we get a bunch of Fallout 3 references. So you've always dreamed of being miserable. Got it. Yeah, very funny. There's a radio station there. It's called Galaxy News Radio. The host, Three Dog, the guy is on another level. I guess I wanted to be like him. On the radio and inspiring people. Kate on the radio? That wasn't what I was expecting. I know, it's weird and lame. I wouldn't say I that at say all. She's got a lot of dialogue. It's a noble dream. Yeah, whatever you say. A lot more than passion had. We're going to go grab some power armor here. 
So yeah, she from the Capital Wasteland, she makes a lot of references to the Capital Wasteland, which is Fallout 3. So, yeah, Galaxy News and uh, the Brotherhood, the Enclave, the Talon Mercenaries, you make reference to all that. So, I say that's all Fallout 3, so. And for her early story, if you go back when we first picked her up a couple of episodes ago, you'll find out about her chem addiction. That was one of the first dialogues. Heads up. Let's trade. And try and keep from running the fusion core down as you can still fast travel with no fusion core in your power armor. It's kind of weird since you can't fast travel while over encumbered. One of the game mechanics people take advantage of. Companion in the power armor. So Kate likes it when you pick locks, uh, when you I think I've noticed when you uh Pass speech checks for more caps. I think she, she likes that too. We saw another crash vertebrate up there. The crash vertebrate in the water had power armor. Well, um, this crash vertebrate up here on the highway probably had, well, it does have power armor, I know, because I've been there before. This is probably one of the easiest sets of power armor to pick up in this game. Hey, over it's here. Not too hard to get down here early. Move here. Not as easy as the one by uh, Robot Disposal Ground, but this one up here is the complete set. You notice the one that uh, Kate's wearing is missing a few pieces. Hey, here. up there. We got some other stuff to pick up first. Some jet. Okay, this is actually interesting here. Uh, we'll see what we get. Once upon a time I got a fusion core here, but this only happened once. Usually some ammo of some type. Yeah, 10 millimeter ammo. You don't want to fall out the other side. Now it's getting back up. You gotta jump on this crate here, up on top, then run across the wing. I said we don't want to burn anything out of the fusion core, so we'll go hand it over to Kate. She ain't gonna stick it in her power armor. Hey. Do you need something? power armor boom no fall damage no matter how far you fall yeah we're gonna come up here to gray garden and steal some produce 
funny, nobody seems to mind when you take produce off plants, but you try and pick up a tin can and they're all over you. Pawn. This note tells you about the back door entrance. We're actually going to pick up another companion here. Just another mod modded companion. Man, I'm a terrible shot today. Come on, somebody run for me. We're going to pick up a magazine here. And... I'm going to enjoy killing you. You, you assholes that? just signed your death warrants. Nate speaking. Let's do this. He doesn't have a voice yet. The author keeps saying he's going to generate one, but uh, you got to turn dialogue on to see what she's saying. So if you go into your game settings options, you can turn on dialogue so it's visible. Yeah, I feel you. She gives you a bunch of new locations on the map and well, hey. new areas too. Go to new. Come on. Well, not new foes to fight, but more foes to fight. She's actually in the. Uh... Hey. Yeah. We'll find Can out more about that when we do her storyline. I think we ought to part ways. Hold on. There we go. Hey. I have the uh, multi companion <laughs> mod so I can pick up what additional companions. Oh. What's on your mind? You said you like music, right? What's your favorite song? What about you? What's your favorite song? Big Iron, Marty Robbins. Ooh, love it. Old okay. Western. I've had this, this thing on my mind lately. I just need some advice. Oh, next affinity level here. It's my family. I always said I'd come home. I promised my little sister we'd see each other again. Mom and dad would get over it. But it's her. She's the one I'm worried about. What happened? I ran away. 18th birthday. Couldn't even do it face to face. I left them a note. How long has it been since you've seen them? Hmm, it was at least four years ago, I'd say. So that makes her 22. Why can't you go back? It seems important to you. Why stay here? Talon Company. See, another Fallout 3 reference. Talon Company. What's that? It's a mercenary group. A notorious one. Did someone put a bounty on your head? No, no, not exactly. It was the other way around, actually. There was a big chem deal happening in Megaton. They were hired to help us do an ambush. But of course, the job didn't go as planned, 
and they still had to get paid. Megaton's the first city you encountered usually in You said us. Three. Who'd you plan the ambush with? She was a brotherhood recruit, like me. Brother? Hood? Like, as in steel? Uh, yeah. I was kicked out right away. When the Talon Company guys showed up on the barracks, looking for me. I take it the ambush didn't work out? It, it did not work out, no. I still can't believe you were in the Brotherhood of Steel. What's, what's the story there? My parents worked hard to get me recruited. It's a big reason why I had left, I guess, after what happened. I couldn't bear to see the look on their faces when I told them I got kicked out. Over a bad chem deal, no less. Thanks for listening to all that. I know it's kind of... a lot. I'd say do whatever feels right. Even if it's not the easy answer. You might be right about that. It's just really hard. I'll keep thinking about it. Okay, so we're moving up her affinity tree. Like I say, she's got a lot of dialogue, which is good. Uh, one thing I seem to notice, I don't know if it's just me, but she doesn't have a preferred weapon. Yeah, sure. What is it? It's about something you said before. You asked me what I wanted to do, what my dream was. Do you remember that? Yeah. I remember that. Oh, you do remember. Well, perfect then. I was actually just curious if you had any dreams of your own. I did, a long time ago. 200 years of unrealized dreams. That's got a sting. You know, our stories aren't so different. We both have missing family and lost time. You've just got a couple hundred years on me. That's all. Have you come to a decision about that yet? Going back home, I mean. I, I don't know what to do. Like I had said before, my parents have probably moved on by now, but I just feel bad. I've never ever broken a promise, not with my sister. What's your sister's name? I don't think you've ever mentioned it. Oh, sorry. It's Mia, but her nickname was always Mouse. Mouse? Did you have a nickname too? I'm not telling. You'll laugh. <laughs> I won't laugh. Of course I won't laugh. I wouldn't do that. Promise. Okay, okay. <laughs> you win. It was Cat. That was my nickname. Cat, Kate, okay. What's wrong with it? Cat and Mouse. It's just a clever nickname. I always just thought it was, I don't know, kind of silly. I like it. It's cute. Well, if you think so, you can call me that, I guess. <laughs> sure. Sure. Cat it is then. <laughs> you know, you're funny. Was everyone like this, or is it just you? What do you mean? Pre-2077, I mean, before the bombs. Was everyone as kind and caring? Or were you just an exception? Thanks, Kate. That part of life hasn't changed much. There were good people and bad people back then. I guess I've got a good one then. Lucky me. Okay, another uh, level in her affinity reached. We're doing a lot of running around that we're not showing here just because I want to focus on Kate. I have something to tell you. What is it? Is everything all right? Oh, relax. It's nothing bad. Don't worry. I think I've made up my mind. About what? I'm staying here in the Commonwealth. Like, for good. What? Really? How come? What made you stay? It's you. It always has been, I think. Do you believe in fate? Yes, I believe in fate. Everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah, exactly. It feels like we met for a reason. What about your sister, though? Won't you still be worried about Mia? I mean, yeah, definitely I'll miss her still. But if she knew how it was here, if she knew what you were like, I think she would understand, you know? Do you really think so? I mean, why me? What makes me so special? Yes, I really think so. You've just got that thing. 
I don't know. Oh, it's hard to pin it. Mm -hmm. When we met in that cellar, when I barely even knew you yet, I just, I just had this feeling. And what feeling is that? Like, that you were someone I could trust. That you were looking out for me. It seems like in general, people out here in the wasteland don't really have a clue what's going on. But I could tell you do, even back then. I really don't know what to say. You don't? Then I'll say it. I love you. I really do. Oh, cool. Are you serious? Do you mean that? Yeah, I'm serious. How do you feel about us? The feeling is mutual. I won't be going anywhere. That's good. Because I feel like things are only just getting started. I'm glad to hear that, Kate. I think so, too. Okay, we got our perk, but there was no... Oh, what is it? Maddox, you have gained the, the Django... Dingo per Junction perk? I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, no romance option, though. That was interesting. Hey. This better be a cute outfit. Yeah, it is. All right. We'll send her down with the passion of the red rocket. Hey. Excuse me. What is it? It's time for us to part ways. Oh, all right then. All right. So that was Kate. We'll catch up soon. I promise. Interesting. That's fine by me. Where do you want me to go? Okay, that was interesting. Uh, I skipped a lot of the playthrough for the video because it was just exploring and we see a couple things Kate likes. Uh, she likes it when you pick locks. She likes it when you win uh, affinity, not affinity check. She likes it when you uh, get a positive charisma check for transactions involving more money. Um, not sure what else. I know she likes a few things. I just those are the ones I noticed right away. Uh, got her affinity maxed out, and she gives you this perk. I haven't really looked that up yet. I'm going to take a look at that uh, when I get a chance. But there's no romance option, so you can't get the lover's embrace perk from her either. So that's interesting also. Other things I noticed, she doesn't have a default gun. I mean, like, some of the vanilla companions and some of the other companions, they have their default guns. Passion had her 10 millimeter. Uh, regular to vanilla companions like Piper use 10 millimeter. Kate uses a shotgun, that's C-A-I-T. And they tend to get infinite ammo with those. Uh, Kate, K-A-T-E, doesn't seem to have a gun that she uses. She came with a machete. But there are mods that'll give her infinite ammo, so. It's just interesting. Uh, my suggestions, if the mod author is going to make uh, more modifications, since this is a fairly new mod, add the romance option. Give her a default weapon besides a machete. Dialogues are great, though. A lot of them. And, well, some of the dialogues, like the question one, you send it, sit there, stare at each other for a couple of minutes. So... Maybe something to go in there, too. But overall, I'm impressed. And that's probably going to be a keeper mod for me. Well, that's all for this time. We'll catch you next time around.